It's game day, and Evil Ascent and the NFL welcome you to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, Grim. It gets worse here every day. You learn to live like an animal in the jungle where we play. What the hell are you talking about? And uh, shit just pops into his head and comes out through his mouth hole. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hogan, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. That was just another day at the office for this guy. Uh, you know, he killed his boss at his old job. That's why they drafted him. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense! Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. And that'll bring up third and one. Finishing that joke, Grim. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and more than the QB would like. Nicely done for a first down.
And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and four. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll bring up second and one. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll bring up third and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a Sonic Blast dirty trick. Well, my... He broke free and has open field in front of him. Go! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. Showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it.
First and eight to go. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He's at the ten. Touchdown! What in the fuck am I watching? Hey, wasn't this guy in a lost wages all male dance from you before he signed? Yeah, they were called nuts and bolts. His stage name was Vice Grip. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts after the MFL grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. point but this guy could blow it straight through the uprights the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring First and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And he just nailed him right on the for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. You know, it's a double step. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Get your motor running. It's chainsaw time. He's stumbling. He could go all the way. The 30. He's running out of gas now. The 10. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First down and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Oh, 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that up. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Second down and five. They've called a zap attack. The ball carry. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll be their final timeout. And it's first and ten. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self seems to have walked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and two. This guy's a brick shit. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. 
Hey, man, I was hitting on the panel now. You know what happened? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. First and two. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with softballs. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and a lot. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and nine. down and never going to happen. First down! He was not going to drop that one. He... Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. down in the QB and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and the offense needs a miracle.
defense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible now. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a low, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third and two. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get... Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. <laughs> Second down in a mile. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third and two. The nastiest dirty trick in the NFL is... <laughs> kids to think I'm cool. I like this. They're going for two. That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. When you 
get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah. Oh. Scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. You can't keep a good mute. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down and forever. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. This sort can really dance, huh? Uh, he was a ballet minor in college. Did a one-man burst of Swan Lake. Fell on the broad and killed her. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's 
First and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. It's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and... If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost Either way, they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, he's talking about points. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five!
The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. And they call a ginormous dirty devastating hit knocks the ball loose. That's a catch for a four-yard game. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. First down. And it's first. And the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. It calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First hit. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Second down and nine. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. They're going for two. Side kicks the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. A nice run there for eight yards. Third and two. Check one in the win column. The Mangos are victorious. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrabble's tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right.